You've heard stories of men being able to last for hours, go from round to round with no issue. But these stories on social media always sound so far-fetched. You, you a virgin. That is how virgins act. I know a virgin when I see one. Besides, if the average time for men to finish is between 5 to 7 minutes and some people's average is less than a minute and a half, then I can understand why many don't believe others can go for hours. But there are a lot of men whose reality is just this. What if I told you? that you and every other man can achieve this level of control. Well, I've studied many scientific papers, many blogs, many articles to find key principles and four herbs every man needs to last longer in the bedroom. And before you say that this level of control is for broke people who have all the time in the world or most women do not want this, this level of power, this level of control is not the fact that you can go for hours. It's the fact that you can control yourself. It's the fact that you can lose yourself completely in the moment, lose yourself to your partner with no anxiety, no fear. You might choose to only go for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, but within that 10 to 20 minutes, what you will be able to achieve, a lot of men won't be able to because they will be starting and stopping. They haven't got that confidence, that level of dominance that's required to push people over certain edges. So if you want to master that, watch this video to the end, you won't regret it. Before we get into the herbs, let's go over some key lifestyle hacks that can change you from being in the 99% to be in 1%. And for this to happen, we need to understand some of the key traits that these 1% of men tend to exhibit. The first thing that these men tend to do is exercise. They tend to do a lot of cardiovascular exercise that gets the heart rate pumping. Better cardio leads to a better heart, which leads to better blood flow, which is important for erectile health. So these men tend to have good stamina in general, but cardio also helps reduce anxiety. Number two, these men manage their anxiety and manage their stress. You cannot, and I stress this, you can't get to these levels if you're stressed if you have anxiety about intercourse arousal arousal is your body's response to stimulus and your body won't respond in the right way if it's feeling anxious anxiety is more likely to shut down and if it shuts down you're not going to be upset so either focus on the worry or focus on the excitement pick one you can't have both number three these men tend to understand and focus on excitement they understand what arousal is within themselves and how to arouse their partner building up their energy level. So once you can understand this, the performance follows. Number four, these men tend to be in good health. They eat less sugar. They drink less alcohol. They sleep a bit more, which in turn makes their hormones way more balanced, which allows their level of arousal to be higher enough for this longer lasting time. Number five, these men tend to understand a lot more about intercourse than the average man. They spend time understanding their partner's body as well as the female anatomy, the importance of building up, foreplay. They know the positions that they last longer in. They know how to enter a meditative state to calm the body. They understand breath work. They tend to do Kegels. They tend to do pelvic floor exercises, how to keep excitement high, how to focus on the moment. And if you aren't clued up on any of these things, I promise you, you need to subscribe to this video and join the community. Once you like this video, YouTube will recommend key videos I've done on these subjects that touch on each of these. Or join the waitlist for men up in their game. It's a community of men trying to understand how to be the best they can be. And there's a lot of resources there that will help. Waitlist is open now. Click and join. Now that lifestyle is out of the way, let's dive into things you can take to optimize the body. Well, there's five categories of herbs you need to understand. The first category is circulatory stimulants. Number two is testosterone enhancers. Number three is adaptogens. Number four is tonics. Number five is herbal relaxers. And within these categories, it depends on what your underlying blocker is, which one you want to actually take. So if the blocker for you lasting as long as you want is lower testosterone, then you need to focus on testosterone blockers. So as opposed to my normal list of four herbs, I'm gonna provide, if you're having issues with testosterone or whatever that issue might be, these are the potential herbs that you can look into and do more research on. And if you like this format, make sure you drop a like and consider joining the channel membership to support our mission of helping the man them up their game. So if circulation is your issue, blood is not flowing like it used to be and is not there for long enough, 
then you can look into herbs like black ginger which takes a few of the categories that we just mentioned i've spoken about black ginger on this channel before i'd opt for this herb because it helps with circulation it helps with testosterone it aids in stress reduction and it can help in performance not just in the bedroom but stamina which potentially can help because you know one hand washes the other another herb you can use here is go to cola and this is a powerful herb and studies show that it can help increase erectile function and blood flow down there. So if your blocker is circulation, these are two herbs for you to look into a bit more. And if your blocker from being in that 1% is your testosterone, it's your hormonal balance, then you can try Panax Ginseng or Red Ginseng. This is a powerful herb for men which ticks pretty much all of these boxes. So I'd recommend that. Or you can try Shilajit and Shilajit is known for its potential impact on testosterone and a lot of these things. Number three, if the reason why you can't be in that 1% and last as long as you want is stress and relaxation, then you need to understand adaptogenic blends. And these can help reduce levels of cortisol within the body and high levels of cortisol can impact how long you last and herbs like ashwagandha are good and generally it can help with testosterone levels and physical stamina which are all key studies have shown that ashwagandha can help boost testosterone levels reduce stress and boost your physical stamina a clinical trial found that men taking ashwagandha reported better endurance and satisfaction within the bedroom is something that can really help you down there just take it wisely. Also, other herbs such as black maca root or redilia rosea can help power and give you that power that you need to last for longer and be within that 1%. Studies on maca root have shown improvements in actual desire and endurance. In one trial, men taking maca root reported a notable increase in libido and actual performance. Number four, tonics. There's a subcategory or something that I refer to as sexual tonics, which can have a positive impact on people. And these are a category of herbs that generally men should have within their cabinet. These are things like horny goat weed, tonka ali or tribulus terrestris. Clinical trials have shown that men using tribulus terrestris reported increased levels of libido, erectile function and overall sexual satisfaction. One study demonstrated that men with mild to moderate E D, so issues, experienced a significant boost in performance. All of these can have a positive impact on testosterone, libido, and blood flow. So that's something to be mindful. And you could also add in a small amount of your Himbe 2 into the blend for some extra benefits. And generally, these are powerful herbs and tips to help you last longer increase your time in the field and what i'd say is my top four out of all of these that i think all men should have i believe it's black ginger i talk about that quite often red ginseng black macaroo and ashwagandha but everything here i've mentioned is stuff that i own personally so thank you for watching support this channel Click on my face and get my herb course. There's a lot of key gems in there and how to utilize herbs for performance. And before you go, check out this video on like the pros and cons of black ginger. Peace out, guys.